Do you hold yourself to higher standards than everybody else? Do you set yourself higher success criteria? Do you feel that you can never know enough to be successful? Do you shudder when people refer to you as an expert? Then you could be experiencing imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome is a form of self-doubt. It's a feeling that your success is due to luck rather than talent or skills and that maybe your shortcomings will soon be exposed. It affects many people at some point in their career and especially women. I hope you'll have noticed that I'm not a woman, but it has affected me at times. It manifests itself as self-talk or inner dialogue along the lines of perfectionism, so everything I do has to be perfect, or soloism, I need to accomplish things on my own and asking for help is a form of failure. Imposter syndrome comes partly from an understanding of how much we know versus how much there is to know. That is to say, we are conscious of our level of competence against what it could be. The good news is that true imposters tend not to experience imposter syndrome because they're not conscious of their level of ability against what it could be and tend to overestimate their capability. So if you feel like an imposter, you're probably not. It does no harm to be aware of the wider world, but don't let it impact your confidence to the extent where you feel incapable of action. If you feel it creeping up on you, acknowledge the thought and think to yourself, does this help me? Think, is what I'm doing good enough? and then let it go. Remember that you potentially have as much to contribute to your field or to the wider world as anybody else. Practice things that you want to get better at to improve your confidence and if you fail, learn from it. Learn stuff as and when you need it. You don't have to know everything now. Look at your achievements, recommendations and testimonials. It helps if you document these so that you can review them periodically. And remember, the reason why you can't hear other people's inner monologues of self-doubt is not because they don't have them, it's that you only have access to your own mind. The only difference is that it's they who think that you are truly competent. It's okay. You've got this. Do you have any tips for overcoming imposter syndrome? Let me know in the comments. And follow me or connect for more Pragmatic PMO videos.